What's up, everybody? Welcome to Sonic Zero Gravity, and I'm all alone. We got John in the house. What is up, guys? It is John, the only game master guys here, and you forgot to say writers. What did I say? Zero, Sonic Zero Sonic, Gravity? Sonic Zero Gravity. Yeah, I mean, I'm not technically wrong. I'm just not technically right either. Oh, whatever. Uh, I mean, it is a technical game. No pun intended, I guess. Indeed. I Oh, I got a vibration. I got a text message. I wonder who it's from. But first, I gotta choose my gear part. I'm gonna start off base. I wanna warm up with my boy Sonic. I did a practice race with Super Sonic for like 10 seconds, and I was like, "Yeah, Super Sonic is the last." <laughs> yeah, yep, it's just the last. Also, I realized they gave him more spikes when you choose Super Sonic. What do you mean more spikes? Like in his hair or the Yeah, obstacle? yeah. I, I no no in his hair, like in the Oh. Well I'll show you when we get to the next race. Cause I was like, wait, does Super Sonic have more spikes? More quills? I mean I spikes, know. quills, same difference. I thought no, it's not Jeremy who texted me. It's just my friend, but never mind. Damn. Not awake. Damn. But yeah, Sonic but, Zero Gravity, uh, you're probably wondering, uh, Noah, why do you have John here? Uh, no, uh, why do you, is it not four players? Well, the emulator hates four players, and, uh, Jeremy hates us because he's sleeping. So, yeah, that's what he definitely hates us. Like, he definitely does not want to do Mario Wonder. And my dog hates me because now she wants me to, you now she's bugging me. So don't worry about that after this race. But... Oh, I got max gravity. Okay, well. Yeah, it's the R trigger. No, I know. I just I forgot. It usually happens in this section, but I'll do yeah. it. Yeah. No, it's drifting. You're bringing yeah. GameCube control. Goddamn. Like, honestly, ironically enough, I play this game quite a lot with, with a Wii remote. Oh, so. same. Absolute yeah, same. Right. I got that Mario Kart Wii mindset. Oh my gosh, I actually got the attack thing, so I can, I can now take the spring shortcut. If you can oh, get to it on time. Well, not that they were good Damn. anyway. <laughs> I don't know. When I was uh, younger, and I didn't have any 3D Sonic games, I would take anything. Oh, I thought you did a roleplay and act like it's a 3D Sonic game by just playing Sonic. On I mean, play. basically, like I did the same thing with Mario and Sonic the Olympic Games, with its race mode. I'm like, oh my god, it's a 3D Sonic game. Wow. <laughs> I mean, yeah. you're not the only one. I would do something like that in some bare minimum, way, one way <clears> or the other. I'm sure I recall what what memory I had. <sighs> uh, yeah, no, I was stuck with 2D Sonic games, and even then, it was just Sonic Advance. Because, like, my aunt had Sonic 1, um, and my cousin had 06, and those were my only two games I really played. Yeah. I mean, the fact that, the fact that Zero Gravity could be one of them, it's like, you must be really limited on- Oh, I thought I got the other one. I thought I got it again. Oh, I get, oh, I got finally grind. Let's go. You know, I'm not really a fan of gimmicks in some way, like, especially I have to unlock gear parts, or at least to unlock grinding. It's a basic skill. But. Yeah. I think because of how easy it is to use now, I think it makes more sense. Oh, yeah, no, they simplified. They made it for children. Over the years, I've I, I, I've always said Zero Gravity was the better game between it and the original. But, uh, over the years, I actually got good. So, <laughs> I can actually play the original. But I still think uh, Zero Gravity just has the style, and definitely the music is kick-ass. I uh, definitely vibe with the music pretty well. And I mean, this was the first Riders game I... Actually, never mind, I lied. I played the game backwards. I played Free Riders my first game. But, oh, God. But my first Riders game, by the way, not my first Sonic game. But, um, no, but I mean, right, I mean, I grew up with Zero Gravity way more than uh, OG Riders. But I mean, although I do prefer... Um, uh, I'll go do it for the OG Riders more. Oh my Look at him. He's got more spines. Oh no, I see. Okay, now I see it. Yeah, because in the, in the middle, in, yeah. the, in, his, like, in the middle of his hair, like I do see an extra one for some reason. Yeah. That's so weird. <laughs> T 
Time for the return of Pod the Porcupine. You gotta appreciate the game for at least being released the post-06 era because now you got like characters like Silver and Blaze. So now they're like staple characters in some way. Knowing the Sonic (laughs) franchise, it's a fucking miracle Silver is still around. Why? Just because like of 06 or just I don't know if he's in the future? Mostly because of 06, but also because in today's day and age, if a character sucks, they just throw it away or let the comics have them. Like, do you really think we'll ever see Infinite again? No, we gotta get. We need another recent Sonic uh, spinoff that isn't Team Sonic Racing. Hey, he had his chance, and that chance was Team Sonic Racing. Uh, we got Zavok. I mean, dude, he was worse than Infinite. Somehow. I mean, yeah, but. It's actually pretty cool in the comics. Perfect. I mean, but well, he was like a villain though. He wasn't like really one of the main characters, like the main new characters. Like I don't know. I mean, we'll be lu- like we'll be lucky if we get uh, Trip as a character, but that's a classic character rather than a modern character. Yeah. <clears throat> actually, you know what? You brought up Trip, and I'm watching this uh, Superstars play through. And one of the guys is a clear as day modern Sonic fan. Like he complained in main for Mania, he's like, uh, why are Fang, Bean, and Bark in the game? This is clearly con- classic, classic Sonic pandering. <laughs> and then he's like, and then when Superstars comes out, he's like. Well, well, why is Fang back? He's just here for pandering. I I'm just thinking, I wish I was in the same room as him. I'd be like, they, they can bring back whoever the fuck they want, and it's a net positive. I like... Because you, like, like, like... Like, Sega's... Oh, I don't have flying yet. Uh, Sega has all of these characters. Why should they be re- relegated to being nobodies? Like... Why not bring them back, you know? There's like no harm in it and only it can only be a good thing. It, it just seems kind of weird, like... Like, they only try to just keep them like separate from the classic timeline, at least keep it that way, like with the obscure characters. Um, yeah. You know, you know, it'd be a bigger ballsy move if they did, uh, fucking Heavy and... Bomb? bomb. I don't know what the Yeah, Heavy and Bomb. I forgot that fucker's name, but they're, they're very obscure. It's like, yeah. you know, I wouldn't be able to have that power to bring those oddballs back. <laughs> um, but, I don't know, it'd be a wild move if they were to bring, well, I don't know, things to the modern timeline or something. Um, uh-huh. Or, <clears throat> or it's like any of the classic characters that went to obscurity. But, I don't know, like, I don't know, it's like, Cloud Sonic isn't really the same as he used to be in terms of, like, how fans view him, because now people, they just view him as a negative thing. So it's like... Like, the meta era just find ways to ruin him, because it's not that bad, honestly. Um, I don't mind Classic, per se. Um, mm-hmm. I just believe that some parts, I believe they could have made it a modern adaptation instead of Classic. Like, Superstars could have easily been in an Advanced 5 or Advanced 4. Yeah. I agree. <laughs> Although, I don't know what, I don't know what people would view Advanced 4 rushed, I guess. I don't know. But... Yeah, I would say so. Because it kind of took over the 2D Sonic games at the time. Or Sonic 4 beat Advance 4. I don't know. Uh, I mean, that's 4 in the name, so... Sure, why not? Oh, I got a drink? How the fuck did I just do it? Damn, I, tr- I was a trick so good. <laughs> no, I know. It's not fair to me. I got to... <clears throat> yeah. Honestly, if you it feels good to play of the four kids games era because I miss these actors because in my as a kid I'm like these are the voices of these characters. I grew up with them too, honestly. That's that's how you that's how I would view them, honestly. Just um, when I would play it, so I, it kind of hits home. But I don't know, there isn't really many enough games to really just like view as in like how do you say this? Like, there's not really enough like, like, 
I, I can't say meta air anymore. Whatever the multimedia air, the air one right now is like there's not enough spinoffs to really just warm up to the voice actor. Like yes, there's Team Sonic Racing that had the most voice acting out of like the unique characters. Like <laughs> other than just Sonic Tails and Knuckles and Amy, like you got to hear Shadow. No, no free riders. Who the fuck cares about free riders? Like. Hey, look, that was that was my introduction to the characters. I didn't even play the game. I just watched the cutscenes. Okay, yes, they did voice more, but it's like, I don't know, uh, Team Sonic Race is a more accessible game and playable, I'd say. So, like, you'll hear more of the voices and dialogue, too, especially while racing. Like, you'll hear Shadow saying, who's your daddy, Shadow, or something, I don't know. <laughs> but, I don't know. It... I mean, there's Olympic Games, I guess, but they didn't really say a lot. No. Yeah, like hitting me hitting these springs in these shortcuts. I'm like, oh man, it's like playing 06. Because that was like the oh, only 3D God. game I played. Okay, goddamn, I hit. No, it's just interesting, honestly. I don't know why they have these shortcuts to begin with. Like, it, I mean, it's a nice option, I guess, but it's like... I don't know. It, it, like, I don't know why they gotta make it so exclusive. At least, like, only for a uh, particular oh. section. Oh my god. See, this track is so jank at times, because, like, these... Um, these frames, whatever, like, that lead you to the hallway, like, sometimes they can just block you. <clears throat> yeah. I was gonna slap honestly. Every time I every time I play this track, I just literally think of like how Sonic literally hits Eggman the moment he just breaks into his room. <laughs> yeah, fuck you. Like he just bounces like a fucking ball. <laughs> ah man, that's it. Oh, whatever. Also, one of the small things that I like about this game is that I like uh, when you gear change into your specific stat like to take shortcuts like grinding on rails punching things and flying i actually kind of like how they transform except for well grinding of course but like flight and power i like that they turn into like different machines yeah i'm gonna get a root right now it's like yeah she definitely has this hovercraft like uh thing so that actually looks pretty cool because like i know flying characters will have that yeah, and then you get but... the power types where they're on fucking motorcycles Damn, I can't believe they need an upgrade just to punch. How crazy. Actually, we were talking about Superstars earlier, um, and I've been playing it again lately. And I'm, like, thinking to myself... Yeah. <clears throat> I'm just thinking, like, Superstars is a game that I feel like gets better the more you replay it. I don't know, that's just the gut feeling I feel towards the game. Yeah, I've yet to replay it, like, at least on my own just yet. I mean, I already did with the Switch and the PC version, and I mean, I had a fine experience. Like, if I replay, I'll definitely just replay the main story, not trip story, though. <clears throat> yeah. Um, but I think I believe it. You know, you know, funny enough, I was actually watching Ant Dude's... <clears throat> uh, it was on a side channel, though. Like, I saw him recommend it. He did, like, a top five pros and cons for Sonic Superstars. No, that was and on his main channel. I really sure it's on Ant Dude Plays, because he did, like, a pros and cons. I, I had not subscribed to Ant Dude Plays, and I watched that video. I mean, I wasn't either, but I, it was on my recommended. <laughs> I mean, I got checked. Yeah. Uh, yeah, no, I, I watched that video, and mad respect to the man for saying it, saying my opinion. With, with the, the bosses? Bo yeah, with the bosses. It's like, yeah, I didn't have a problem with them. In fact, I kind of liked them because they were actual bosses and not just... Oh my god, new enemy! Bang, 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 done. No, yeah. See that, honestly? I just feel like the only thing is that, like, I would prefer if they were just separate acts. Like, like a boss level rather than including the level. Because that's what I goes fast to the level and then end it off quickly. Like, I just want to end it off instead of just having a, an extra two or three minutes fighting a boss. 
Um. Oh, he actually called me. Oh my god, he's calling me. I don't want to <laughs> that fucking savage. He's finally awake, but that's not yeah. what we're here about. <clears throat> but. Oh yeah, I mean, that's just the one thing I like. I want to like at least. I think I think I maybe I stated that opinion before in my like, Super Stars Let's Play. I don't know if I did or not, but even so, like, I just think I'd rather have it in as its own level, like how Rush did. Yeah. Just, just so I can enjoy the levels way more. Like, because the only levels I see myself going back to easily is just Bridge Island Zone Act One. Uh, Cyber City. Uh. Cyber Station, yeah. yeah. I don't know why I want to keep calling it Cyber City. You know, Cyber the Station. Yeah. Of the too. Or that that was Genocide City. Two yeah, Genocide City, bring it back! Don't change the name. Literally, it. You know. Also, this is little Noah's favorite level in the game. Don't know why. I just was. I, I know. I know. Tyson also really like this level too. Actually, I believe. I don't know. What does um, it make? Does it remind you of oh, like what music part? Or not music for like. Water parks that you went to when you were like, a baby. I don't know. It just looks very appealing, and I, you know, I just can't describe it honestly. Like every time I'm here, I'm like, oh my god, this is. Maybe it's because of how good, how damn good it looks on the for a Wii game. Hey, Sega knows what they were doing when it comes to graphics on the Wii. That isn't a port. Yeah. I feel like how the music does change slightly when you when you go in gravity mode, like it kinda gets has more beat to it. Or more yeah, that's, intense. That, that's every stage. I think my favorite no. version of that's actually the first level. No, I don't I, I don't think of every stage, I mean I'm just pointing out like the feature that the game has. <laughs> yeah, it's really good. It's a lot better than uh, uh the music being distorted in the cyberspace levels in Frontiers. Oh, when you boost? Yeah. Personally, oh. I feel like that ruins the music. Which sucks because it's really that good. Of sound when you boost in modern games, though. It's the most notice notable in Frontiers, then. Well, yeah, because you're not... Like, it doesn't feel like you're boosting. Like, you're just dashing, pretty much. And they just have that unnecessary sound effect. Because you're not, like... You don't really have that boost effect, I guess. Yeah, maybe. Damn. Not gonna lie, you. I, I forgot about cyberspace, cyber stage, cyberspace stages for a little bit from Frontiers. You made me feel nostalgic. <laughs> yeah. You know, we all have our mixed emotions <laughs> to pure hatred for Update Three and fucking Superstars, but at the very least. I really hope this is the start of Sonic's shitty friends era. <laughs> I think we all want Sonic's shitty friends era. I mean, we're getting Sonic Dream Team that features his shitty friend from Sonic yeah. Prime plus Cream. Yeah. I'm getting better. I got this place. I want to piss off the Shadow fans. Yeah, they brought, they're brought bringing back the important characters for that game. Oh, speaking of Shadow, actually. Um, oh, yeah, you know, the I Sonic movie notice. thing. Well, yeah, but here's the thing. I just noticed. If you look at the, uh, what was it? Like the, <clears throat> like next to like next to Shadow's feet, because everyone was going nuts over Shadow's feet. Um, mm -hmm. Like, uh, well, I don't know what you call it, <clears throat> but like you know, they had that little black and white thing. I don't know, like that's the action, like you know that, that that piece or whatever. Fuck, I don't know the name of it. The clip, clip back clipboard. I don't fucking know. Whatever. Basically, um. Oh, even as a motorcycle, nice. I'll be Sonic again. No, so I think they updated the Sonic 3 logo slightly to look like SA2's logo. Very, if you look at the yeah. Sonic 3 logo on the on the teaser picture very closely, like it has the spines. Heck, like yeah, that's pretty badass. Like the Sonic and Shadow spines from the SA2 the logo. Is that it's actually on there if you look closely closely at it. Yeah. I saw. I have to check it. I only saw Shadow's feet, so. No, you know what I'm ready. I hope that's Photoshop. I would hope not. But... 
Oh yeah, you sure? I'm sure we're a match for you. <coughs> is Eggman a, a power character or is he none? He's power. Okay. He, like... He's the only character that's a pure power because I guess he's so fat he can't get on an actual board. <laughs> I don't know, you explained it to me. I don't, I don't know why, I mean, I feel like he's better for flying, honestly. Yeah, uh, I, wish he had, like, power. I wish he had, like, the Eggmobile as a fucking extreme gear. That would fit, honestly. My, uh, dang, I really wanted to just... Um, I was really hoping to get more. Oh, I really miss the old trick system. Like, just having it just tap at the tip just feels off. Feels off, but like, I think young Noah really liked it because he was terrible at video games. You know, I wish I had those skills when I, cause I did, I did 100% this game back then. Like I got all gold, uh, uh, what was it? Like when you do the mission mode, you can get the, the gold reward, I guess. Not gold reward, but just yeah. the gold tier. like. Like how well yeah. it's based on your performance. Yeah, I know that. I remember trying that, but like, I don't know. I guess, I guess, little Noah was like, "Yeah, I just want to play uh, the story mode and not much else." Well, little John really wanted Super Sonic because I was a huge Super Sonic fan. Oh, it was. I still am. I got that classic Super Sonic plush from GameStop. Yeah. Which I'm still convinced is just a Sonic doll that you peed on. <laughs> it's not! <laughs> At least it doesn't have extra quills like freaking uh, Zero Gravity does. Hell yeah. Crap. So I just realized what this bike is that I chose. So, uh... Like a lot of air or something? I can't get air from doing tricks. I can either get air from capsules or gear changing. That is, that is pretty terrible. <laughs> yeah, but on the plus side, it's fucking fast. Like I'm really far ahead from everybody. I mean, I I think tails is kind of on your tail. <laughs> I got it. I'll take that shortcut. <clears throat> I remember I get bored sometimes and I'll watch a video of someone playing Zero Gravity but with, with foot racing only. <laughs> what the fuck, no. You know, that's like your ghetto Sonic R pretty much. Is that. My ghetto Sonic R? No, yeah, if you just if you just have Sonic just be on his foot all the time running. Oh, uh, okay. When you, when you select Super Sonic. <laughs> that's <laughs> yeah, fair. Very, very fair. Oh wait, no, 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 go back, go back, no, 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 none of that. Fun stage, honestly. It is a fun stage, one of the best. Yeah, uh, but... Got inspiration we, from. We, we, we did it, yeah. Sonic Unleashed, you said? Yeah, with Chunan, Dragon Road. So... Not gonna lie, you just unlocked a memory for me. <laughs> because I think... I don't remember, but I think I think I saw the Sonic Unleashed trailers, and I played that stage pretending it was Chun Nan or Dragon what Road. The, what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I had to be creative. I I couldn't get everything I want. Yeah, and let me guess. You played us like you played a Super Sonic as well, just to get that. I don't know that. No, I never gotten. No, I never I got like Super Sonic, so I, yep, uh, I did play a Sonic all the damn time. Oh, I got an X rank. Holy shit, I did pretty good. <laughs> Holy but... shit, I'm a badass. Damn, not again. But, no, it just bothers me, though. When you play a Super Sonic, his voice, it just sounds like he has a strep throat. I don't know why. I can't be the only one who thinks that. Yeah, it could have been the Werehog voice. It sounds like, oh, for fuck's sake. It sounds like, yeah. Man, we're at the Eggman Land project, huh? This is nice. 
I remember that. I remember that was like the dialogue I heard when Sonic found out what Eggman's intentions were. It was just a, he was dream. You know what I realized? Actually, speaking of Eggman Land, like ever since yeah. like after like post Unleashed, I never really hear Eggman talking about Eggman Land again. At least like wanting to create. I know he already made it, but it's like hey, he already made it. So you know, he did his dream. He's done. He got destroyed though, so it's like he doesn't want to bother recreating it again. Or you know, well, yeah. I mean, to be fair, if you finished a project and then some dickhead deleted it, would you <laughs> want to do it again? I don't know, maybe it depends how good it was. And how, how how dedicated I am to wanting to relive it. But yeah, that's a thing, it's like you know that Yeah, that's what I noticed actually, because he was so open about that and never talked about it ever again. I mean Unleash was the last uh game that had the four kids riders. And the four so, kids took eight man line with them, okay. <laughs> Well, you already we already know that uh, what what's their face is meta era writers. Uh, <clears throat> they knew absolutely nothing about Sonic, so it does not surprise me if they didn't know about Eggman Land. <laughs> maybe, maybe make Eggman World expand Eggman Land or something. I mean, isn't that what Colors did? That's not that's that's just like Ghetto Eggman Land. You haven't read the comics, right? Uh, what? Archie or IDW? IDW. Uh, no, I, I'm bad at no, I'm bad at reading. I'd like to get into <laughs> it, but I'm um, hard to be committed to read a comic. Yeah. <clears throat> so uh, there's there, there there's a character called Doctor Starline who is a big Eggman fan. The duck. Yeah, the duck, basically. No, oh, yeah, I recognize him. Yeah. But like. uh... In one issue, he asks Eggman why does he uh, build theme parks, and he's like, simply he's like, I like theme parks. <laughs> oh, really? That's it? <laughs> well, it goes on to be like, yeah, but isn't that a waste of resources? And he's like, hey, look, I'm a man of vision. If I want my enemy's last moments to be surrounded by cotton candy and overpriced snacks, then that's what I'll make it happen. Wow, how evil. <laughs> he just- mm. He just ups the prices, okay? <laughs> I, just, I just find it funny, because I'm just imagining the last Sonic game where Eggman actually wins. Sonic's like dying on the floor, and you just hear carousel music in the background. Eggman walks up and be like, hey, want cotton candy before you die? <laughs> so that's so fuck, I mean... What is that line delivery? What did Root say? What the heck? I don't know. <laughs> she, was, she, was like, she was like, I cannot let you get away. I don't know. I don't know what Rouge is all about. Oh my god, no! <laughs> Bitch. I'm gonna be like, show. No! That was pointless. Okay, back to the menu. <clears throat> Alright. Now we're going to the I 90s, because they were the best years. Yeah, because I literally want to know what Sega's resume... What did they do in the 80s? Alex Kidd or something? I'm pretty sure Alex Kidd was very late 80s. <clears throat> I'll be... I'll be Blaze again, because... Redemption. <clears throat> I'm gonna be Blaze again because you don't get to play as her as much in this franchise. Hey, you got the Olympic Games in Team Sonic Racing? Indeed. Sonic Riders 1 did not come out in the 90s. These fucking savages. <laughs> I saw that. <laughs> if it came out in the 90s, then that's one fucking impressive 90s game. Yeah, I know, right? It actually looks like a PS2 game. In the 90s, that's actually ahead of its time. God. I just Sonic Riders released on the PlayStation 1. It'd be crazy. <laughs> It'd just be the Sonic R models on a piece on of wood. And hoverboard, a really low poly hoverboard. Well, basically. 
<clears throat> oh no, I, I don't. Actually, never mind. I was gonna say I don't. I would not know how to feel right playing that game with um with D-pad. But I was like, I mean, if you can play CTR with D-pad, or I mean, I mean, I'm sorry, Glider is uh, with a weird mode. I mean, you play with a D-pad as well, actually. So, kind of mind, that, that. Yeah, that's how I play it. Oh my God, Pico Hammer, I missed you. Yeah, not tarot cards. No, it's just so weird how they replaced the hurt hammer with tarot cards now out of nowhere. Yeah. I don't get I, mean, it. I don't buy the tarot cards that much, but I find it really weird how they shove it in your face. Like it's been a staple thing, you know. It literally well, no. obscure, It's more like they're trying to make it a staple thing. Yeah, but it's like it's so obvious that they're trying to shove it in your face, like goddamn. Yeah. <laughs> you know that we play Origins, I'm like, oh that's a cute little reference. And then you just get fifty two pickup for the rest of your life. They only based all of that from the C from the Sonic C D instruction booklet. That's really what inspired them, just from those words alone changed the day yet. Twenty years later, so <clears throat> Okay. Oh, I could have grinded on those wheels. God damn it. Yeah, this is definitely one of my favorite tracks in this game. Like, in terms of music wise. And also just the track itself. Yeah. I, I can agree with this. Yeah, let's go. That was how it comes like a speed highway. Although, I th think it's slower than that. Actually, I don't even know it's slower faster. <clears throat> I'll take fourth place. <laughs> well, I actually beat you in a race. That's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> did you set the AIs on hard or something? I, I, I did not set the AIs on I didn't even know you can mess with the AI settings. Am I just really this trash? Cause like I thought I was doing good. I was like, oh shit, I'm like still behind. <laughs> Wait, go to role settings. I think that's where you can change it. I'm not saying you have to change. I'm just scared. What the fuck? No. <laughs> no. <laughs> They're oh just God. natural. They're naturally dickheads. Only fitting to be beat. No, not with this guy. <laughs> <laughs> it's only fitting to be the complete fucking opposite. <laughs> I was like, the more you unlock those guest characters, I don't think you even see those robots anymore. What? No, no, like, the more you unlock those guest, not guest characters, like, the, the extra characters, like, Shadow, Blaze, and Silver, the Sega characters, like, mm -hmm. you don't even see those, uh, the robots anymore in the racing. Never mind, I lied. Hey, guys, I'm still here. Is the story? No, they're just here. No. They were not in the story. Cause yeah, you were just by yourself, right? Like, you would be Sonic versus the Mobius? No, race. you would have other racers fucking you over because they can't attack the thing. <laughs> you know, when I, when like... I first saw Mobius trip, I was like, is Mobius canon now? Instead <laughs> <laughs> having that word in. Dude, it takes me back when you, when you literally beat the game in one sitting back in Texas. <laughs> No, it's not a long game, <laughs> and I don't maybe. know what. I maybe I was bored. I don't, I don't remember. No, yeah, I think we were gonna. I think I, I remember I was wanting to do zero gravity as an idea with extra time we had, but we never did it. And I didn't. Yeah. And my Wii U didn't even have the didn't have a safe out for it. <laughs> Fucker, hit him! I'm supposed to hit him. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, because we'd be on a continuous loop if we don't hit him. Yeah. And I believe we have to hit him six times. What the fuck? Oh, I was like, that kind of makes sense, because, like, it's two per lap, right? Like, he does... Yeah. So he kind of shakes things up. <clears throat> mm-hmm. <clears throat> there we go. Dude, something about these AIs, goddamn. They're fucking Fucker. assholes. <laughs> Maybe they 
option setting. I'm convinced it's somewhere in this deep in the settings if you look hard enough. Like I appreciate sure <laughs> they put it some very weird obscure place. <clears throat> yeah. That's why I probably prefer playing this track with four people. Because they get rid of the CPUs for four players. Oh yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> Who is trying to steal the spotlight? Is that Storm? <laughs> is that fucking Storm? You know, part 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 of me likes this more than the the actual the the boss fight from Riders, but also part of me hates it. <laughs> because well, I, like the, ooh, I, I like I like that they're I like how it's challenging, but like. It's also fucking annoying, especially in the story mode where you have to. Especially in the story mode where you have to. We have a time limit. Oh, really? Oh, yeah. I was like, wait, is there something yeah. here? Like, and unlike, the, uh, unlike Adam uh, Sandler, the genie, uh, you actually. He actually attacks you. No, he's actually here too. He was attacking me, this freaking robot. Oh, it. Oh, it wasn't Storm, it's some fucking generic robot. <laughs> no, I'm taking the spotlight. Screw you. <clears throat> you know, I feel like you would notice this or something, but with the Sonic Riders games, mainly the first two, the thing about Sonic's models. It's a little bit different than how he normally looks. Or is it just me? In both Riders games or just this one? Both Riders. For the first two. Um, like model. His like model... Not, not, not in-game, but CG model. The CG model? Yeah. Um... The CG model, I'm not so sure. Or, like, or at least, like, the, the cover. At least, like, the cover. I don't know, like... If you were to compare like Sonic's model, or at least how he looks, how his face or his, or his anatomy, it's a, something about it is slightly different than how he normally looks. Like I don't know, I know it's like a weird thing to bring up, but it just I remember when I was like, when I was young, I was like, something seems off about him. Like, yeah, he's, like, a little taller, like not like 06 mm -hmm. different, but. <clears throat> I mean, I could tell you what's up with the in-game model. They, they they gave him noodle arms and <laughs> they made him taller. Like, his arms and legs are thin as fuck, and he's taller. Aren't they always been that way? Well, no, if you look at the 06 model, it, that his arms and legs were pretty much fine-ish. But, like, his fucking hands, feet, and head were fucking huge. Oh, wait till you play the heroes instead. It's, they made his gloves freaking hair. His hands big. Yeah. Like, you see holes in those damn gloves. Yeah, I think I remember I saw someone made a tier list on Sonic's models. <laughs> I feel like I saw someone do that before. It wouldn't surprise me either. I think I have one more hit on him, maybe. I'm like way ahead right now. Amy, what the fuck?! <laughs> you bitch! Oh. I don't know where she came from! I was literally up ahead! <laughs> Sonic! Hey, okay, this is the stalker creepy mud at meta- I mean, freaking Dark Age Amy. Yeah. You know, part of me misses that, Amy, even though I know it's not good. I mean, that's, that's like her character in some way, not in a good way, at least... I don't know. She... She came up... I mean, she came come up more as weird than toxic. Like, cause I know in Sonic Battle, she was hella toxic. Oh no! No, you never mind. Sonic Chronicles, she was toxic. Cause I know we always have this discussion about Amy's fake boyfriend. Or trying to... I don't know. Like... I, I mean... <laughs> You can be a total dickhead to her, and she'll totally give up on Sonic. <laughs> Hell, Chronicles is a lot of things, but its writing was fucking great. Can you just make Sonic toxic or gaslight Amy? I don't know who making. It's fucking funny. I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, but those only have like the ah. beginning of the game, though. It's for the first half of the game. Yeah, where they actually have like dynamic. Like, yeah, once once you go into the twilight zone, that's when uh, things start to become more linear. 
There's fucking robots ahead of me and I can't catch up because I don't have <laughs> any weight. Oh. oh, that wasn't you who did it. This is the worst. This is the worst Sonic Shadow fight ever. <laughs> this is the worst remake of a fight ever. Like it actually kind of looks like the stage for playing Shadow versus Sonic, but like this fucking robot and Amy are in the way. Well, not any. Oh, actually, Amy is still annoying. I don't know what this electric shield is gonna do to me. I like how we found some fine ways to make them fight for like literally 7 minutes and 30 seconds. <laughs> Tell you, the co computers keep cop cock blocking. If we were playing 3 to 4 players, this would have been over because everybody can hit the fucker. Maybe the AI is a lot harder and I was like, the grind rolls are slower, isn't it? Yeah. Well, does that help that I was doing Oh, I time. fucking ju I just missed that fucker. Oh, dude, I'm finally catching up. Holy shit. Bye, Amy. Oof. Dude, do those things even hit you? Because, like, literally, like, they don't... I, like I got a speed boost capsule, so I dodged it. <laughs> John, what the fuck? We have the same goal! <laughs> yeah, Where did you two that. come from? <laughs> dude, what, what is this rubber banding? Wait. What happened to me? Why am I, like... Not blind. Like, I think I got hit, didn't I? <laughs> oh. oh, the camera went nuts for a second. <laughs> yeah, no, it did that for me too. I was like, how would it go crazy in a Sonic Riders game? <laughs> Do you ever hold up when you're moving? Or no? Or like, yes. Okay. Even though, like, I'm not even moving. though I, even though I know it doesn't do anything, it just feels right. Okay, it's a habit. Yeah, I do that too, honestly. I think we have one more hit, honestly. It's literally yeah. we have. I know we have one more hit, but like, fuck these... Fucking Amy. Oh, thank God. I think I'm getting sort of... Amy, I see you back there. Don't you fucking pass me. Fuck off. Amy, how are you this... What is wrong with you two? <laughs> the robot, I get it. The robot's evil, but Amy is just a bitch. <laughs> Oh, fuck you, got him. You literally took my win. I <laughs> did most of the work. <laughs> I hit I hit him the first time, and I hit him the last time. You were just filler. That's so fucked. Oh, no, fuck no. Not doing fuck, it again. fuck no, fuck no. Get me out of here. This is the end of the video. Uh, thank you guys for watching. Stay tuned for more Sonic games and other games related. Until then, we'll see you guys next time. Peace.